To distinguish a minor burn from a serious burn, the first step is to determine the extent of damage to body tissues. First degree burn. The skin is usually red. There is swelling and pain in the affected area. Second degree burn. Blisters develop in the affected area. Skin takes on an intensely reddened, splotchy appearance. There is severe pain and swelling. Third degree burn. The most serious burns involve all layers of the skin and cause permanent tissue damage. First aid for minor burns, including first degree burns and second degree burns limited to an area no larger than 3 inches. Hold the burned area under cool running water for 10 to 15 minutes or until the pain subsides. If this is impractical, immerse the burn in cool water or cool it with cold compresses. Cooling the burn reduces swelling by conducting heat away from the skin. Don't put ice on the burn. Don't use fluffy cotton or other material that may get lint in the wound. Wrap the gauze loosely to avoid putting pressure on burnt skin. Bandaging keeps air off the burn, reduces pain and protects blistered skin. Third degree burns. The most serious burns involve all layers of skin and cause permanent tissue damage. Call for medical help immediately. While waiting for help to arrive, don't remove burnt clothing. However, do make sure the victim is no longer in contact with smoldering materials or exposed to smoke or heat. Don't immerse large severe burns in cold water. Doing so could cause a drop in body temperature, a deterioration of blood pressure and circulation. Check for signs of circulation. If there is no breathing or other sign of circulation, begin CPR. Elevate the burnt body part or parts. Raise above heart level when possible. Cover the area of the burn. Use a cool, moist, sterile bandage, clean, moist cloth or moist cloth towels. 